Hey team, this is Eddie Gray, and I am that Logic Pro guy. We've covered so much in this series. If you have been enjoying this content, do me a massive favor, press that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe. You can always change your mind at a later date. For now though, I wanted to add in one more video to this series that if practice will allow you to never lose another Logic Profile again. In the last video, I talked about the most important files in Logic Pro. By simply backing these files up and restoring them as I illustrated in that video, you can solve about 80% of your problems. Now, what I wanna cover here is the leftover 20% of the problems in the music production world. I believe that if you learn and apply the techniques that I'm about to show you, that you will never lose another file again. All right, you ready? Here we go. As mentioned, I've been using Logic Pro for many years and in the last eight of those years, I have not had a single problem that I could not immediately solve that very same day. Here is technique number one. Save as a folder, not a package, and include all assets. When attempting to understand how Logic Pro saves files and samples, it's important to know how to save a file to begin with. As an overview, I think it's critical to understand that you want to save your file as a folder and not as a package. A folder will allow you to save and see all of the assets contained in the project. This would include recorded audio files, third-party samples that you drag in or import, samples from Quick Sampler, Alchemy, or Sampler, freeze files, and more. By saving as a folder, everything is in front of you, and that will mitigate the potential to mess things up. When you choose to save as a package, you do not see any of these files we just mentioned, making it a bit more dubious to understand what was actually saved and what wasn't. If you already saved as a package, all is not lost, go ahead and control click the project to access all of your project's current assets. I've covered this issue quite a bit and I find that many people desperately need to wrap their heads around it if they wanna keep all their files intact. Here are some more videos to watch to support you with your learning. The next thing you can do, number two, consolidate a project. Regardless if you saved your file as a folder or a package, a safeguard when working with Logic Pro is to consolidate a project. This is gonna take the files contained in your session, including recorded audio files, stock and third-party samples, and make sure that they're actually burned into the folder or package. This is especially important before sharing Logic Pro sessions with collaborators or moving sessions from your internal hard drive to an external hard drive when backing up. Before transferring your project somewhere, remember to consolidate it first so that all your files stay in one place. Number three, download everything to your hard drive. This next suggestion may not be for everybody, but if you download all sounds, logic projects, third-party samples and instruments to your internal hard drive, it could make your audio life a whole lot easier. Downloading everything to your internal hard drive creates the most seamless workflow, generally speaking, especially if you're a beginner. Now I understand that this may not be possible for everyone, so if you're needing to create more space on your Mac, go ahead and watch this video where I talk about the biggest files in Logic Pro. Now, when you save your project, there are many hidden connections being created in the background. And the easiest way of avoiding any mishaps is to have everything you are going to need under one umbrella. If you're going to buy a new computer and you have the resources, always pay a bit more for storage. You'll never regret it. This will allow you to keep things simple and stay as organized as possible. Again, this is ideal for beginners. Now, if you're a bit more experienced, I do have some suggestions for you. In all transparency, I myself utilize an external hard drive. And all you have to do, if you have to outsource certain things, I would have an external drive dedicated to third-party loops and samples, and also for virtual instrument libraries for, such as Contact, Arcade, East-West, Musio, etc. Stock and third-party plugins should be saved to the internal hard drive. Let's move to number four, back up your projects. An external hard drive can serve two purposes. You can have all your samples and contact libraries on it for sure, but you can also have a dedicated folder on the external drive to simply double back your Logic Pro projects. This is not necessarily an archive to catalog your broad work throughout the years. You can do that as well with another hard drive as I'm doing right here, but this is an accessible backup folder that you could immediately use to back up your projects. 
Sometimes you're going to need a backup just in case you make a mistake or if a project gets corrupted due to plugin incompatibility. I personally always back up my projects as soon as I close Logic Pro for the day. It's important to note that Logic Pro should actually be closed, otherwise the transfer of that project will not actually happen correctly. And that's another source for frustration for all Logic Pro users. Number five is a good one, protect tracks. It's a precautionary measure that's gonna add an extra step to your work, but if you were to start using track protect consistently, you would ascertain that not even a slip of the hand can mess up your progress when making amazing music. Many Logic Pro users get overwhelmed by the number of options made available to them within any given moment. Has this ever happened to you? I'm sure you can relate. You adjust your EQ, you start working on the main melody. Take my hand and pull me in. After that, maybe you add some rhythmic elements to the track. Maybe you reduce the volume of the bass a little bit. And this decision-making process goes on for hours and hours, and after making hundreds if not thousands of decisions, you realize that somewhere along that process, you made a mistake and nudged over a handful of tracks, including vocals, and now everything is sounding way off. This is exactly why you need to use Track Protect. It prevents unnecessary human error from occurring even when you make a mistake, which will inevitably happen, Logic Pro has got your back when using Track Protect. Quick tip, when it comes to recorded audio, if it ever gets nudged out of position for whatever reason, control click the audio region and choose move to originally recorded position to get it back to where it was originally recorded. Or as the Beatles would say, back to where it once belonged. Number six, B2A session, export stems. Let's say you finished a song six months back and a client wants revisions. You open up the session and a plugin company goes out of business or worse, you don't have the most current version of the plugin or even worse still, you stopped your subscription and now you find yourself in a little bit of a bind. Now either you send the client a version of the song that sounds different than the original or you could try and recreate the original mix without the plugins but that might be a bit reckless or you shell out the cash and pay for the latest license slash subscription so you can use the incompatible plugins on your session. This could all potentially be avoided if you save a project alternative and bounce all tracks to audio. This will not only make sure that you have everything printed to your session, but also give you the opportunity to export stems as a way to double back these stems. The printed files are here contained inside of the session in the audio files folder. And when you export stems, you could place them here, making sure to preserve your songs for many generations to come. Number seven, lock sessions. The last technique is another preventative one. When the song is all done, you've backed it up to your backup folder and archive. You can then lock the session to make sure that no further mistakes happen by you, an assistant, or anyone else for that matter. If someone did try to open the session and tamper with the goods, Logic Pro would simply not allow this. All right, team. Well, look, I hope you've enjoyed this series on how to never lose a file again in Logic Pro. Let me know if you have any best practices when using Logic Pro. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you so much again for all the amazing support. Super grateful. This is Eddie Gray signing out. Take care. All right, just a quick addendum to the video. This is for a buddy of mine. If you are bouncing a file and you're met with this window and you're wondering where are my files actually going, well, this depends on where you save your logic session. So the default path we know is under the user folder, your name, music, and logic, right? So this is where things are gonna go by default, but that's not necessarily where I save them, for example, if I hit Command D, this takes me over to my desktop, and I save everything under a folder called Music. Now, if I find this specific session, which I called Save As Folder, naturally these are gonna go into this Bounces folder, but if you're ever confused, go into the folder path and just see, okay, this is my computer, Users folder, the User Pathway, and I'm saving this on my desktop inside of 
this session. For me, the best workflow looks something like this. I go into the users folder and I go into my name and I take this desktop folder and I drag it into the sidebar. And when I do that, every single time I need to access the desktop, it's right there, right? It's just a really easy workflow. And so what I suggest you do right now is you go into the user folder, name, music, logic. And so I'm going to take this folder here, which is the default saving path, and I'm simply going to drag it right over here. So every single time I need to look at the default saving path, I can just click on the sidebar and I'm right where I need to be. So some variation of this is really going to help your workflow. Make sure you use the sidebar. And if you're into the tagging system, this is something else that you can do. Again, you click on, let's say your tag is gray for all of your music files or what have you, and everything is right where it needs to be. All right. I hope that helps. God bless.